Hello guys, in this video we are going to see about install python packages in Visual Studio Code. Before start, please refer this link for basic python code setup. Once it completed, for installing python packages, the pre-request is pipe. Pipe is a package management system used to install and manage the packages. In 64-bit Python, the pipe EHC exists in this path. Here, 38 is a version for Python. In 32-bit Python, the pipe EHC exists in this path. Here, the 32 is minus 32 bit python. Then please make sure the pipe EHC path is added in system environment variable path setting. Once it done, in Visual Studio code, open new terminal. In that, execute the command pipe install yfinance for installing the package yfinance. Then if we want to uninstall the yfinance package then execute the command pipe uninstall yfinance. Suppose if we get any error while installing why finance like is not a valid Win32 application then please install Python 32 bit instead of 64 bit and try to install that Y finance again. Let's say in application. Here I return the basic print command in python then I am going to open that new terminal terminal and new terminal we can also use the shortcut to open that then in this new terminal we can install that y finance by using the command pi so before install y finance I am going to check the environment variable In advanced tab, I am going to open the environment variables. Here in this path, make sure that pipe.ehc path is added. Here this is the path the pipe ehc exists. Here see we can see the pipe ehc in this path. I installed 32 bit python so the pipe ehc is exist in this path. If 64 bit python then we can check the pipe ehc in this path. But here it's not exist because in my system it's installed python 32 bit. Okay here I already added that path. Now I am going to install white finance package. The command is pipe install white finance. Here white finance package is installed successfully. Then I am going to import that package in code. Here I imported the package yfinance and I declared one alias name yf for yfinance. The yfinance is a package for Yahoo Finance. Once it's imported, I'm going to 
use this alias variable to access some methods. Here I declare one variable data. I am using this variable for getting the finance data. From that alias name, I am using the method download. By using the download, I will download the finance data from Yago Finance package. Here it have many parameters. In first parameters, I am giving that stock name. Here the stock name is State Bank of India NSC. Then second parameter is start date. Here the start date I given as June 25th, 2021. Then the third parameter is end date. I given June 26th, 2021. Then third parameter as period is one day. Then fifth parameter as interval, five minutes. Then here the data gets downloaded and assigned in this variable data. Then here I am using the for loop and I am getting the each record from the data variable. Here I assign two variable. In this first variable index, I will get the values like date and time. Then one more variable row. From this row, we can get market high value, low value, close value. Like that, in the data are we can get from this variable. I am going to, I declared one variable, current date, then from index variable, I am going to get the date. We have to give the format as parameter, date, month and year, same like for time, the format is hours and minutes. It is your wish, you can uh, change the format as your wish. Then again I am creating one more variable, live close price. Then I am going to get that close price from that variable row. Here it's a, in the parameter, I passed that key bad close. By passing the uh, parameter as close, we can get that close value. Then I am then I am going to print the values price at I concatenate the date here this is the in, in print I am converting the date into string then again we are concatenating that value current time and the live price then let's run this code by right click and selecting run python file in terminal see here the price set date and time and live price here the market is close at 3.30 so we will get the data up to 3.25 we can see each 5 minutes we are getting that live price the market open at 9.15 so we are getting the data from 9.15 If we want to uninstall the package, then we can use the command type uninstall y 
finance. Then it asks in the confirmation, yes. Then it uninstalled successfully. Thank you guys. See you in next video.